Shalom. I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Shem HaShai, Bashem HaKadash. I'm doing all the elders and apostles of great Millstone, and Thomas Truth. And peace, blessing, and salutation to the whole for elect. And yeah, man, I've got the Baraka come with me, man. Shalom, my whole Bashem HaShai, Barakatha. And as we say, the elders and the apostles of great Millstone, peace and blessings to the whole for elect to Israel. Yeah, man. Well, basically, um, having a conversation and. You, you, you know how life is, man, with, with these women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Come he's, on. <laughs> he's, he's going through something right now. This is, this is the first time I've been through something like this. Honestly. Yeah, man. With me, I've... Hey, man. I'll select it. Select Yeah, with me, I'll... Select You want to get the paper? <laughs> Wait, let me, let me um get my thing out first. Select it, select it. Like I was saying, um... I've been through um this situation twice in my life. The first the first time being um in two thousand and eighteen where I actually lost the first love of my life. Well I wanna say losing the sense of um she, she died. Just that the fact that <clears throat> she she brought my heart, man. <laughs> like, that, this this girl brought my heart. And then the and then the second one <clears throat> this this is recently, man. <clears throat> and you, you know what I found out what she did. Mm-hmm. She she basically um she basically thought I was cheating on her, so she decided to listen to her, her idiot friends, <laughs> and then she goes <clears throat> and ends up um having a fling with some with some with some other dude. Mm-hmm. That's, you know that's why it, that's what it goes to listen they listen to the friend the friend the, the, the thing about it is the bad mind friend is moving the single or or moves loose I'm just gonna be real like that like I'm not seeing anything but I've, I've seen it first and of course my younger brother your older brother you may disagree or you kind of jump out and agree with me but yeah I do agree you know that's what that, that's what I see I see a pattern emerge it's either a friend that's jealous a mm. friend that's loose or you know something like that yeah, man, that's that's normally what it is, and I, I kid you not, <clears throat> all of her friends were literally planting seeds in her head, man. <clears throat> and and even then, right now, I, I don't really care because the Lord reveals she's the my enemy, so <laughs> it don't matter anyway at, at that point. But <clears throat> before that, she was actually um. The love of my life, and like, yo, I thought, I thought, I thought we we're gonna be together forever. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Continue. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna try and find a scripture. Uh, so go ahead. I'll, tell you, I'll just. Um, yeah, man. Um, it's all like I was saying. Like, literally, <clears throat> with, with this girl, I was. I basically took a Virginia and all that. So, me and me and her were quite close. And then, um, <clears throat> like I said, friends, friends were getting involved. Her family were getting involved. It's just, it, it, it was just, it was just a headache, man. Letting, this is the same thing I feel like <clears throat> Yeah, um, she was basically letting everyone tell her what she should be doing and how the relationship should be. <clears throat> According to them, it sh- it should be it should be like the kingdom of heaven. Please, oh. <clears throat> please, oh, oh, perfection. Oh, so like, <laughs> let me just say one thing. So, like, if I interrupt you just before, I think there was a delay or something on the line where I thought you had finished, so I just kind of jumped in to interject. But my bad, I didn't mean to cut you off there. I'm so good at that. I was just about to say, yeah, the same thing happened happening to me where, you know, there's the meet my parents, you know. And she made the plan to meet my, you know, meet my parents. Cause in my head, I'm like, don't do that unless you're serious. Don't, don't go in and do something like that. Mm. I like going on car with her mom. <clears throat> you know, like on her older sister. You're telling your, you know, your roommate about me. Me meeting your roommate. Me, you know, this person, that person, and whatnot. You know. I'm not even. We're not even going to do it. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I said, yeah, give me any figs with a pig on the hide and any wickedness with a wickedness of a woman. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you look at, when you look throughout the scriptures, you have like, who do you have? We have, um, what happened with Samson and Delilah? You know, you have, you have great men brought to their knees because of a woman. And th- th- that's even, very um, true, man. Yeah, even, um, <clears throat> you know, even though King David's heart was prayerful with the Lord, he, you know, he even still stumbled. Well, although that was in 10 different situations still, but, you know, in terms of wickedness and woman, wickedness and women have brought down great kingdoms and empires. We look at the whole situation between Try, that happened, you know, in that movie Try, that was all done, that was all at the cause of a woman. Because what happened was, um, the woman, basically, if I recall correctly, the woman was basically, uh, supposed to be with the king of the opposing empire, and she went to have a, she went to sleep with, um, the ruler of her next kingdom's son. So obviously, the other guy didn't like that too. The other guy didn't like that, and he brought the two to war. So basically, she committed adultery. Yeah, you remember the, yeah, you remember the movie though, right? It was, yeah. um, it showed Achilles. It showed Achilles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? That reminds me of what's it called? Um, with Joseph as well? With, um, yeah, with the Pharaoh's yeah, yeah. wife? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> because you can have discipline in this thing because nobody said it was going to be easy. Because look at me. <laughs> That's how I would tell you. I'm a young brother. I didn't expect I would be going through this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how it is sometimes. Like, sometimes you, you got to experience these things to make yourself better. <laughs> For real, because I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know, even because it's a new feeling with me, because I'm like, listen, although it pretty much looks bad at all angles, doesn't it, Tazar? It mm-hmm. looks bad at all angles, no matter how you look at it. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, she better have some kind of explanation for this, because I'm going to start, I'm going to see her, I'm going to talk to her in person, you know? But I'm like, still, no, she better not hope for anything still. Because it's like, it's not already looks too bad. Yeah, man, like... And, it too bad. and you, know, you know what I think she did? She what? was talking to multiple men, man. Not, <laughs> not, not just you, she was talking to other dudes as well, hence why, um... All of a sudden... She... Mm, yeah, man. And, 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 and that's how these women are to, today. Talk, talk to the multiple dudes looking for this, um... 1% man. Or even... This this perfect man. <clears throat> and, and I'm like, listen, this this is the same woman that will cry and say, Oh, why can't I find a good man? This man did me dirty court, this and the third. <laughs> but here is you will run to you you will run to you run to somebody for sympathy, but sometimes you didn't recognize you had a good man. Mm. Mm. And you know what? It's kind of one of those, the first, like, although I don't, you know, I need to really know, I need to really have an explanation, because I really like closure. But, you know, it's one of those things where you couldn't, listen, you remember Tazar, like, Tazar heard in my voice, it feels like he knows me personally, like, it feels bad, but it doesn't feel as bad as it could have felt. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah so, so basically, um, I could hear the pain in his voice, man. That I, I mm-hmm. could because I, I, I was in that position and yeah. even then I've I got a scripture right here yeah, you, you've talked to me when I've been in a good mood so you know like this yeah. is me yeah the, 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 the brother was down and it's um evident in the spirit because literally when, when the brother sent me the message I was like there's definitely something wrong, man. Let me let me go ahead and answer his call, man. <clears throat> and, and, that, and that was the Lord, man, doing that. Okay. Yeah, and, and let me read the scripture here, Psalms 34 and 17. It says, The righteous cry, and the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemal Shai, heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. And I'm sure you, I'm sure you prayed to Yahweh, by Shemal Shai, when you was... Going through the thing hey, you can't, can't. Yes. <laughs> I was asking the Lord, I was asking the Lord to help me, you know, 
I was I was actually you know was hoping that the Lord would have it to where things would go well, but you know the will of the Lord. The Lord is you know if the Lord sees something that you don't see, you know, in speaking of a worst case scenario, He may just say, you know what, I don't really, you know, I don't I don't feel like this is for you. Mm. Even though you can't see it, the Lord sees something you don't, and the Lord knows something that you don't. Yeah, of course, man. And and let, let me carry on. Um. It says, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. So, yeah, man. This brother has been brought down now, man. I never let me... The, the Lord responded to his prayers by having me answer his call, man. And even then, like, I've, 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 I've been through the things that he's went through with, with this girl. Or should I say with this, with this woman? So... I can, I can give him advice, man. Because it's, it's kind of it's like, you know, you know, you wait till, you you know, you just like come, just come, that's all I ask you, just come straight, you know? Just come straight in situations because although we as guys, we can, all we can pretty much do at certain times is take them for their word. Because you mm. can't really follow them around with a magnifying glass all the time. <laughs> that, that's that's very really true, man. Like even then, the the majority of these women they're they're good at hiding these things, man. That's true. <clears throat> like because literally, if if the Lord didn't reveal it, I wouldn't even know my because, my ex committed bro, adultery. Bro, I mean. it's like it. <laughs> it's like um, I tell tell the congregation or you know tell the congregation and the viewers that are watching how I found out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how did you find out? Snapchat private story. Something uh, was posted, right? Something was posted, and then I basically gonna question it, and then. I, I questioned it and then I said, do I have anything to worry about? I, that was a further question. And then she, and then she dropped the message. What did, tell, tell, her what the, tell her what the message, the response to that was. Oh, you're going to have to fill them in. Yeah, yeah. So, like, um, so basically she was like, oh, I basically have competition. Mm. Um, I'm, like, I'm like, what the hell is this? That's crazy, man. Because to me, I'm like, it was me and you from from day. And, uh, and well, where's this? Uh, where's this come from? And it's crazy because this is a seven of your but from our shine, man. Like you, you can't get better than that. And here it is, she, she, she treating him like he ain't shit. <clears throat> They might want a more hot life for us, you know. They might want, mm. you know, something more like that. But, you know, I can I'm not going to go off just to, I'm not going to go off that piece there because I understand that it's to stick with the guidelines that we have. Yeah, and you've done a got a scripture here, Isaiah 13 and 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even the man then goes much of offer. And yeah, man, being the the elect men that have been chosen where you held with him, how shy, man. They won't be as fine and gold in in the times of trouble, man. <clears throat> yeah, I'm 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 gonna pull up on the phone. Isaiah 32 and that's literally what I was going to do you see how beautiful the spirit of the Lord is do you want to read it yeah I can read it Isaiah 32 and 2 and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weird land. So, you know, you got a shadow in a weird land. Like, imagine 
Like, you know, when you get hit with that blazing sun? Mm, yeah, heat waves, man. And like, you like beating off your head and then you find a shadow, that shadow cools you down. Or like, mm. water is when you get water, like, when you get desert. What's the one thing you want? You want water, don't you? Mm. Like, like, literally, so, in that day, a man's going to be uh, literally a shield or a, a protection, man. For real, because you <clears throat> underestimate the creature that the Lord has made, because, listen, you, there's all kinds of creatures, like, even, even in the UK, right, there's wild animals. It's just, like, it's just, at a certain point where they catch that day, like, we love the way that's normal, like, animals are Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> For example, um, the Maranga Tangs, man. <laughs> yeah, man, and, and, and the cover, cover as well, man. The cover as well. Clever, clever. What? Oh, yeah, the chimps. Oh, yeah, the chimps. And I got the perfect scripture right here, man. Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that crave for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, being Yahweh Shemel Shere. Fire, hail, and famine, and death, all these were crave for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions surface on the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. <clears throat> I, I about want to add on to the top of that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is Amos 5 and 8, uh, 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met you. So you got to take it to a court. Imagine you're running and you might as well escape a lion. And you run into a bear. A bear? That's more serious than a lion because when you take all this Yeah, I, I've, got, yeah. I've got a scripture here to you, man. Isaiah 2 and 11. It says, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the holiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord Yahweh shall be a sh- 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 slucky. <laughs> Someone just popped up on the phone, man. <laughs> I got distracted. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, let me read it again. It says, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the holiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord Yahweh shall be shy, alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. <clears throat> As I said to this brother, you know, you, you know, you can never underestimate how serious a Lord could take something that you have passed. Because really, you don't know when you are coming back. 
Yeah, that's because very like true. we were saying, no, I was saying to his boy, I was like, say, you know, some of the tension to go to this these kind of stuff, and he was like, listen, you know, we, we both agree. Listen, you know, it, 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 you, you know, even no matter how small, the, the law could see that. The law could be like, all right, we got something for you. Yeah, you know, no. that's how that weird is. Oh, that reminds me of a scripture. Yeah, that, that reminds me of a scripture. <clears throat> yeah, let me just get it real quick. Um, there we go. Matthew 18 and 6. It says, But whoso shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the death of the sea. So, yeah, it's better to commit suicide than to play around with one of the Lord's chosen or one of the sheep that believe in him. <clears throat> and even then, man, wisdom of Solomon, 17 and 1. Oh, so lucky. We've all gone whole book. Um, let me read it. It says, For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, a natural souls have erred. Meaning, when the Lord brings his judgments, man, it's, it's, it's not going to be on the level that we know right now. It's going to be the time of Jacob's top of the time like never before. And those judgments are going to literally blow, blow our minds, man. <clears throat> We are ever going to see judgments like that. And I guess the brother had to uh, dip real quick. But um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll finish it off, man. I'll pray to see how it him home, sure. Oh, the brother's cool. You didn't cut off anything, did you? Oh, no, I, I carried on, basically. Where do we leave off? Um, I was just reading Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 1. You know where it talks about um, for great thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Oh, God, God, you got that. Yeah. <clears throat> no, as I said, we both, it's funny because we always had a brotherly connection, and I was like, maybe we were brothers in the past, like, because it's like, the way when you click, it's so different. I wait for me. Yeah, man, I got Proverbs like, twenty seven and seventeen. What it's like in in the it's like over the message it was like, yo, even if I'm busy or with anything or something, I have to get to this guy's call. It's this I just feel like it's something is wrong. Mm. And and that's why I ran the brother Batman. But yeah, let me let me read this in um Proverbs twenty seven and seventeen. He says, Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. <clears throat> As you, you know, you have to have a brother to, you know, we have to balance each other. Yeah, man. You know, our brother, you may stumble, our brother needs to help you up, or our brother, our brother stumbles, you need to help him up. And we both, we, you know, we both help each other when we both have stumbled. That's, that's very true, man. <clears throat> like, you, you, you can't do this alone, man. You, you can't be in the it's truth true. alone and not having any, any, any brothers to, like, and talk to you or to, to, to help you, man. Yeah, like, <clears throat> like brothers are needed in this thing, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, is, is is that what you gotta say? Um, you information on the story? I know. I, I think we I think we touched all the all the, all the points. That's why I, I explained it anyway. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, let me go ahead and, and close out. So yeah, I want to give all praises on and glory to you. How about Shema Shah, Bashima Kakadash? Shah, Bashima Kakadash. Until next time, Shalom. Yeah, man, Shalom.